It is January 3rd, 2023, and we have an unboxing for a chicken egg basket. It's pretty big. Let's see what it is, Olive. Ah, it's a box within a box. Let me get that out. Okay, so there's this tiny box and a big box. Kind of a waste of a big box. They could have put it in something a little smaller. Okay, who cares? Let's see the chicken. Let's see how nice this chicken is. Yes. There we go. No, you can't eat it. It looks really cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do with this, it's a wire chicken and I love the shape of it. I thought that it looks uh, very much like an actual hen shape. I'm going to spray paint this white, glossy white, and then I'm just going to hand paint this part with red and yellow to make her really look like a chicken. So here is the little chicken basket. I spray painted it white. My goodness, for something so thin and small it took a lot of coats. It took like five coats, I think. Then got a little bit of bubbling down here. I don't know if I can, maybe I can sand that off. Yeah, it looks like. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the beak, the wattle, and the comb. Don't think I'll paint the tail. I want to, but I just, it's a white chicken. What could I paint it as? So for now, I'm going to leave it for white. And I think it'll look very pretty. Here's the hen. She's basically done. I did the beak in yellow. Just needs a clear coat and I want to go out and buy a pair of solid black buttons to make eyes because I don't like that she doesn't have eyes in it. Just painting black on the wire wouldn't work but I think little black eyes would look adorable. Very cute. I have googly eyes somewhere in the house, but I don't want a, a silly, goofy-looking hen. I want a pretty hen. So here are the little eyes I made for the chicken now that she's all painted up. 
I just took some googly eyes like this. And now this would work by itself, but I wanted a cute chicken, not a funny chicken. See, it looks nice, but yeah, I don't want goofy chicken. So I just took this uh, art paint in black and I painted them with a little paintbrush, waited till they dried, and then I took a clear coat of this with a Q-tip and just dabbed it on top. I wanted a glossy eye because real eyes are moist and they shine when you put a, when the light hits them. They have a white spot that moves around with light source. Sometimes it's a circle. If it's a window, it'll be a square. So it's pretty neat. And I wanted that instead of drawing a white dot there, I wanted the shine to change like a real eye as it moves a little more realistic. And you can use any kind of clear coat if you don't have this stuff, if you, if you don't do woodworking, you can use just spray paint or uh, clear nail polish is probably the most accessible and easy thing to get. So yeah, I'm gonna put these on her. You see much, much different than the silly googly eye. So hopefully I can get these to stay on. I'm just gonna use a, a hot glue gun. And I'm gonna try to line them up. I think they would look best at around this point not up here and they have to look good from the front so it doesn't look like she's cross-eyed or that one's too close and one's too far right about there would be good and there we go what a cutie not bad I'm not good with a glue gun. I've never been good at it, but I think it turned out all right. So it'll be nice to display her in the kitchen, fill her up with pretty eggs.